Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I have an unexpected estate sale haul for you guys. Elizabeth and I were running some errands last weekend, I think, and going through some back roads and I saw a sign. It said estate sale and of course I had to wheel in there. I did not film while I was in there. It was just a last minute, you know, unexpected stop. So I ran in there, did some shopping, and I did find some cute little finds that I'm going to share with y'all. I actually stopped there, and then I ran to get Kelsey after I checked out, and I took her back to get a few things, and I picked up a couple of more things while I was there. So I'm going to share with you real quick what I got on this little unexpected estate sale haul real quick. Okay, I'll start with this little thing because it just looks like something that I would see in a little country cottage. I don't know. I've, I've seen these hanging like in people's homes before but I really don't even know what it is. But y'all, I thought there was just something about this that said, get it, it's adorable, it'll look cute in your decor. It even has a little hangy thing on it. I don't know if you can see right there. But I thought that this was so cute and you'll see kind of why I got a couple of these items in just a minute because I've got something to hang these on now. And I think I paid $1 for this. What is this called, y'all? Do, do you know what this is called? I mean, it looks like a little broom to me, but I know that's not what it is. Is it? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Okay, I have no idea if this is vintage or if it is not, but I loved it and I thought that it would be cute and styled on some shelves. And it is this cute little sunbeam scale. You guys might be able to let me know. It has this little knob back here. Um... I was gonna try to see what it said on the bottom for you. It doesn't say any, all it says is inspected by, but I mean, it does work. And I just thought that this was so, so cute. If you remember not long ago, and I actually have them right here, I have some of these, I think they were coasters, but um, I thrifted them a while back and I thought, well, how cute would that be if I put a few of these or if I found some different ones because the coloring's a little bit off. I'd like to find some colored plates or something up here or some butter pats or something but something like that would be so cute don't y'all think? I don't know. So I got this and it was a dollar and just kind of got this for styling for decor. Anyway I'm going to show you guys the top of my refrigerator pretty soon on how I have redid everything up there and I was just telling somebody that I was looking for like some twigs not that i don't have enough branches out in my yard i couldn't go get them but they're not really what i need so when i saw this i got excited because i could break off these uh pieces and how i'm wanting to style these like kind of stuffed down in some baskets i think that's going to be really cute i know it's hard to imagine what i'm talking about um but i love this piece of like twig limb whatever it is and here it is up close. I paid one dollar. Anyway, so my thoughts were just to kind of take off some of these and stick them down in some different areas. So for one dollar, I could play around with it and see if I liked it. And no, wait, was it a dollar or a dollar? No, it was a dollar fifty. Excuse me, I just noticed the tags at a dollar fifty. So gotta okay. look at this, y'all. I love just the simple style of this i will probably paint it i love green but this green is a little it's a little too christmas green winter green for me it was two dollars and i love that it has the little pegs i don't know if i'll put this in my master bathroom or where i will put it exactly I have lots of little areas in my house that have like little small spaces and walls where i can put this so i was super excited to find this because really all i need to do to this piece is sand it down and paint it a little bit it even has the little hooks on the back so i can hang it up so super excited to get this she always wants to come and say hi so she's checking everything out tell everybody hello and go on about your business okay go on I did pick up some baskets, you guys. One of the baskets I have already used in a DIY. Um, I posted that video on Friday. I'll put up a link for you so you can go check that out if you want, but it's just a basket kind of similar to this one that it has a flat back. And I love these kind of baskets with the flat back because y'all, they work perfect when you were trying to, I love to like take and hang them off of little shelves like this and hang something out of them. I have 
a couple like this already and I love it. So my idea is to do something, you know, similar to this, hang it off because it has the flat back. It even will hang on a wall really good. I have one of those accordion, um, like accordion hat rack things. I'm not sure what they're called. They're like vintage and they have the little pegs on them. I have one of those in my hallway. So even something like this hanging off of that would be really cute. So I got the, this had the original tags on it from wherever, from wherever this place is. She only charged me a dollar for it though. So I got this basket for a dollar. Then you guys, I got this one. I don't know if I love this one as much, but this one has a hook and it has a flat back, if you can tell. And it was a dollar, it was a dollar also. You see, yeah, it was a dollar also. And my thoughts is because I don't really like, I don't really like the look. I mean, hold on, let me back up. I don't know if I would just put this out in my decor. It's not my favorite, but baskets like this work really well, like underneath sinks, because it does have this little thing here. You can hang it like on a wall on or like on you know something underneath your sink and they work perfect to hold a blow dryer or a curling iron or just extra things these work good if you have a little wall by your bathtub you could even i mean not your bathtub your uh, commode you could hang it up there and put you know necessary things in there or toilet paper whatever i don't know but i got this because i thought it would be perfect to use as a storage solution somewhere I might use it underneath my kitchen sink. I'm not really sure, but I'll definitely be using it somewhere probably for storage. And then I got one more little basket. <laughs> I got one more and because this one screamed cottage to me, I had to get it. I think that it is adorable. It is just this dark brown little basket here and I absolutely love it. And you can style this in so many ways. And I'm trying to redo some things in our guest bathroom and I have open shelving in there. I like took the cabinet doors off and it's all like white open shelving in there. And so I like to get contrasting type basket colors so they'll kind of pop off of that white. So I loved this and you could put some greenery or a little plant in it. I think that it is adorable and it was also just $1. So that's the last basket that I got. But when they're only a dollar and they're cute and they can be functional. Also, I like to get them at garage sales and estate sales because that probably would have been like $2.99 at Goodwill. I mean, because we all know how Goodwill is. Okay, so I did find a couple of old books. So I got this, um, the revised standard version of the Old Testament, and I just love how old it looks. So I got this. Now, I'm not crazy about the color, like this blue. That is just definitely not my color. So I will probably leave the cover on it, this little jacket or whatever this thing is called. I will leave this probably on it and turn it like this so that you just see this part. But I loved, I just couldn't leave this book behind. And it was, all the books were 50 cents. This book is called Good Housekeeping's Best Book of Adventure Stories. And I thought that this was adorable. Look at this little picture on the front, you guys. I couldn't leave this one behind either. I thought that it was adorable. And here's what the spine looks like. So cute. And it's just got all kind of colorful little um, pictures through there. Really pretty. And I love, again, the old looking right here. And so I'll probably style it with this showing maybe even both of them together like this. So anyway, again, those were 50 cents a piece and I absolutely love those. And while I was there, I got this huge, you guys look at this. Isn't this neat? Now, what's so special about this you say? Well, look at the top. This is a plate rack, a rail, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what it's called, but I've been getting some plates and platters and stuff because I I just, I love them. They like bring me so much joy. I don't even know why, but they do. I think it's because they have that really cottage look to them and I just have them plates stacked everywhere around my house. And I thought, well, how beautiful would it be to like put some, a platter or some plates on here to display? And I've never seen a peg rack like this with the plate holder at top. Have y'all? I've never seen that. But my thought process on this is, because I'm having a hard time finding my hutch for my kitchen, I think it's because I need 
I think it's because I need such a specific size um, because I am limited to space in here that I might just have to wait until I build on my dining room and all. So I thought what I could do is right here behind me, you see I kind of have this little shelf here, but I could take this down and put like two or three shelves here and I could put this underneath the bottom one and leave space to put, you know, some platters or plates and then I could have this to hang cute little stuff off of like this or I don't know, just little kitcheny things too. I don't know if I'd put the little broom, but I might because I mean in cottage core, cottage decor stuff, you see all kind of little things like this hanging off. But I thought that this little peg rail was so, so cute. And the fact that it had a plate rack on top sold me. I was like, okay, I can paint this easy. That's an easy fix. And I kind of had in mind about doing the, the open shelving here, little trick, putting this kind of underneath the bottom one, but leaving enough space where I could put some platters and plates and then hang some things off. Like make my shelves as long as this, kind of like let this be my, um, you know, a little guide for how big I would want those, or how wide, excuse me. And this was only, let me just take the sticker off, it'll be easier than trying to get the, this was only $3, y'all. That is super good deal, and it's so cute. I love this, this adorable little strainer, y'all. I don't know what drew me to this. I don't know if it was the green, or this is something else I could hang off this little peg rack. I don't know, but I just thought that it was adorable. It was only $1. And I think it is super, super cute. Now, if I don't hang it off of that, I can hang it off of something else. I have some stuff hanging off of um, my little island out here. So anyway, I love this. I just, I would not use this to cook with or anything. It is strictly just a little vintage strainer that I can put out and use as decor. And I love this old stuff like this. Okay, so that's everything I bought when I went there. But then I left and I went and picked up Kelsey to let her come back and look. And I had spotted these next two things when I was there the first time, but I did not want to pay what they were asking. Um, they had $3 on this one. And I don't know, when I was here getting the other stuff, and I just kept thinking about this. I think that's why I went and got Kelsey. And I was like, you sure you don't want to go? Come on, go with me. I think you'll really enjoy it. I was trying to, you know, talk her into going, probably so I could go back and get this. But I love this little um, soup terrine. Y'all, look at this. Look at the flowers on it. I think that this would be so, so neat to put a little plant in. Let me show you what I pro I'll plan on doing is I bought, this is a thrifted one here, and I have this little shelf that I just bought here. I thought, now how cute would this be styled on top of this with, you know, a little plant, a little house plant coming out of it. And look at the flowers that are on it, you guys. I think that that is just I don't know. I love that kind of stuff. And because I love Country Cottage, that just fits right into my decor so easy. So he did end up giving me this for $2.50. So I went ahead and got it because I just, I mean, look at the aged on the bottom. It's just, it's so cute. I couldn't pass it up. Isn't this like a miniature soup terrine? Isn't that what you call these? I'm not really sure. It may be a flower pot for all I know, but that I'll be using it for that. And I love it. And to go on, to, on one of those little shelves like that, it's going to be so cute, y'all. All right. So another thing that I got when I went back with Kelsey was these adorable plates, y'all. There is three of them. Let me take them apart. They're still, they had these listed all three of them. It had three plates for $4. And I just could not bring myself to pay $4 for three plates. Now they were cute. And this is what had me really wanting to get them is look at the little pots on here. You guys, isn't that so cute? I love this. On the back, it says, oh Lord, let me put my glasses on. Hold on. On the back, it says Yorktown Shape, the Edwin McNoll's China Company made in the USA. I don't know. I just love these. And so there's this one. And look at how it does here. At first, I thought they were chipped and kind of messed up, but they're not. That's just how they're made. So there's three of them. And I, and I got him to take $2.50 for all three of these also. So he did, he was coming down off of stuff because it was Saturday at like three o'clock and they were closing at four. So I got this one 
And then there's another one just like that one. Looks just the same. And then this one is a little bit different. It has a little bit different colors on it, but it's perfect for spring and summer. Those little colors are, I thought. So anyway, I thought that that would be so cute. Like, I don't know if I'll put them on this once I get it hung up, but look at, look, this is why I love this. Look at this little plate rack, y'all. Please don't fall. Let me show y'all. I'm gonna try to put up another, another. Okay, I'm gonna try to put up another one. But look, look at this, you guys. Won't that be so cute? I love this so much. I don't know if those are the plates that I'll put up there, but I'll be putting something up there. And then the last thing that I got when I went back on this second time with Kelsey that afternoon was this Living Letters, the Paraphrased Epistles Special Edition. I got this. I loved, again, how old it looked here. And a cabinet that I got last year while I was out garage selling, I absolutely love it but I am really wanting to just fill it with like books with this part showing, just so that when you look in there, all you see is like this. I don't know why, I just, I just that's what I wanna do in there. And I think that it will look not so cluttered and messy in there. And so that's what I'm going for. So I'm starting to collect smaller little books like this that I can lay and turn every which way. So when I saw that one, and it was only 50 cents, I just missed it the first time I went in there. I got that. And so for everything that I picked up here, I literally had only $20 in my wallet that day when I stopped at that estate sale. And I ended up spending $19.50 on everything in case you've lost count. So everything that I picked up today at this estate sale, I got for $19.50. And I think that that is absolutely a good deal, especially for the little shelves that I got, the basket, the plate, just it's all worth $19.50. I love everything that I got. Okay, you guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank y'all so much for stopping by and seeing all of the goodies that I was able to get at this unexpected estate sale today. I love everything that I got. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and we will see you really soon with a brand new video.